Welcome back once again, Spazites. <laughs> I don't know why I did it that way. This is Gizmo Spaz, and today we are doing our final video of the Transformers Fan Made Arc Edition TCG expansion. Now, this is not in any way, shape, or form uh, supported by uh, Wizards of the Coast or Hasbro or uh, any anything official. This is completely unofficial. This is something that a uh, group of fans got together and worked on on their own personal spare time. Nobody's making any money for it. And uh, they just loved this the TCG and they didn't want to see it die. So they came up with their own expansion. And uh, yeah, this is the, uh, the Decepticons, the larger character cards for the Decepticons. And uh, yeah, like I said, this will be the final... Uh, video for the uh, Arc Edition. They are working on a second wave, I believe, and I'm also in the process of trying to get a hold of the Unicron Raid, which has a whole bunch of exclusive cards all its own. But yeah, uh, without further ado, let's uh, get right into the cards. Let's start with our uh, alt modes. I made the mistake of starting with the robot modes for all the other ones. But anyway, we got Cyclonus, Loyal Enforcer, Plane slash Spaceship slash Ranged. Uh, when you flip to this mode, you may scrap a white pip card from your hand if you do move two damage from this to an enemy. Cool. And then, uh, let's see, he keeps his Ranged. If one of your leaders that has ten stars or more would take attack damage, you may have this take that damage instead. So, that's that's pretty cool. He'll uh, defend Galvatron, who's next here. Maniacal Tyrant. He's a leader. He's ranged. Uh, let's go to his... Uh, oh, he's a tank instead of a, just a cannon or a gun. Uh, leader, tank, ranged. I actually kind of like it. It looks cool. Um, when you flip to this mode, you may scrap an enemy upgrade. And then when this attacks, if the upgrades include... If his upgrades include at least white, blue, and green, and you flip at least white, orange, and black, do four damage to an enemy. That is really specific. <laughs> that is really, really specific. <laughs> oh, let's see. Uh, here we have Ghost of Starscream. Plain ranged, annoying apparition. Uh, before the game begins, KO this. When your, scar when your Starscream is KO'd, if this is in your KO area, return this to the battlefield. Fully repaired. Okay, so you, you use this with a Starscream card. And when the Starscream is KO'd, that's cool. Return to this battlefield, roll it fully repaired. Even if you have no other characters, put all upgrades from the KO'd Starscream onto this instead of scrapping them. That's interesting. Uh, when this attacks, you may tap an enemy. That is That is really interesting. So... I mean, it's seven. It's seven stars that start out in your in your KO pile, but he can't take any damage that whole time while the other characters are getting KO'd. So when your Star Scream ultimately gets KO'd, then you just pop this out. That's that's kind of cool. That's interesting. Then we have Gnaw, Voracious Hunter, Sharktacon Beast Melee. Uh, oh yeah, they introduced Beast cards, didn't they? Uh, when you flip to this mode, return a mercenary card from your scrap pile to your hand. So, uh, mercenary card from your scrap pile to your hand. Interesting. Okay, uh, then we got Sharktacon at Melee. When you flip to this mode, one of your Sharktacons gets bold to until end of turn. Flip two more battle cards when attacking. So this is a great card to play with your Sharktacons, because he's also a Sharktacon, which is pretty neat. <clears throat> okay, and then we have classic Megatron. Uh, first of all, we, he starts in this area, I believe. Leader, weaponizer, ranged. And he is an Autobot Bane. When this is KO'd by the effect of Peace Through Tyranny, do two damage to an enemy Autobot. A weaponizer begins in bot mode and can't flip. When it's KO'd, play its upgrade side. 
So when he's KO'd, he becomes the P-38 Fusion Blaster. And uh, it's got plus three attack. Bold one. Flip one more battle card when attacking. If another weapon should be put into the same upgrade slot as this, scrap that weapon instead. If this would ha if this would leave the battlefield while upgrading a Decepticon leader that has ten stars or more, instead deploy this to the battlefield in bot mode tapped with six damage counters on him. That's interesting. Very interesting. And then we have... Red Wing, Thrill Seeker, Plane, Range, Tough One, Flip One More Battle Card when Defending. And then, uh, Ranged, Revenge, your opponent scraps two cards from their hand as a character's revenge abilities when it's KO'd. Then we have Scourge, Opportunistic Tracker, Spaceship, Ranged. Your starting star limit is increase, increases by one for each sweep on your starting team. Enemies can't use Brave or Stealth against... Uh, this or your sweeps. So that's really cool. So he's five, six, seven, eight. And if you're using all three sweeps, then that gives you 25, 26, 27, 28 stars, which is that, that could help. That could help. <laughs> uh, let's see. Skybite, last but not least of the regular cards. And then we've got our special cards. Uh, when this attacks, put the top three cards of your deck face down under this. And then, when you flip to this mode, play a card from under this, scrap that card at the end of the turn. So that's interesting. That's interesting. Okay, so that's all of the regular cards. Now, we were, we did get a new, if I can grab it, combiner team in this, uh, in this wave, which is really cool and something I wished... Uh, Wizards of the Coast had it done initially. I think it's Wizards of the Coast. I'm pretty sure. I wish they had it done that initially after introducing combiners. I wish they had released another combiner team for each, you know, consistent wave that they got out. So anyway, this is, uh, who is this? I forgot. It's uh, Bruticus. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, look at these and then we'll show you what Bruticus looks like. But first, we have uh, Blast Off. When this attacks a tank or truck, this gets plus two until end of turn. When you flip to this mode, to do, do two damage to a ranged enemy. Next is Brawl. Ground Assault. Combaticon Tank. Uh, Brave. Enemies uh, attack this character if available and bold one. So he's got Brave and bold one. Uh, enemies can't use Brave or Stealth. When this attacks, an enemy that has an armor do one damage to that enemy. Let's see, Onslaught, the leader of the uh, Combaticons. We got uh, Truck. He gets uh, each of your other Combaticons, has Bold One and Tough One. Flip one more battle card when attacking or defending. When you flip to this mode, draw a card. When one of your Combaticons attacks, plus Plan One. You may put one card from your hand on top of your deck. Next is Swindle, everyone's favorite. Swindle, Combaticon Truck Specialist. Uh, when you flip to this mode, return an upgrade from your scrap pile to your hand. Uh, when this attacks, pardon me, an Autobot, you may play a weapon. When this defends against a Decepticon, you may play an armor. Pardon me again. <laughs> Last but not least, Vortex. We got a uh, Combaticon Helicopter Ranged. Pierce 2, do at least 2 damage when attacking, but no more than attack total. When you flip to this mode, your opponent scraps a card from their hand. So yeah, those are all pretty good. Let's uh, get a little picture of what Bruticus looks like here. Uh, let's see. Boom, boom, boom. Bruticus is 3 wide on top, and then 2 wide on the bottom. And then his uh, attack reads, Bold 2, Tough 2, Pierce 2. When this attacks on the turn, he's combined... For each battle card you flip that has at least black pip, do one damage to an enemy. So yeah, that's uh, that's Bruticus, and that is a really beastly, beastly combiner. And uh, I'm a big fan. I love combiners, as you know if you've uh, been watching my channel at all for any period of time. Last but not least, we have the giant... Scorponok card. Before the game begins, you may put an Electro Stinger of Scorponok from your deck onto this. When you flip to this mode, draw a card. This begins with Lord Zarak, ruler of Nebulon, on him in head mode. 
And then here is Lord Zorak, ruler of Nebulon, in head mode. This begins on Scorponok, brutal warlord, in head mode. This can't flip. When Scorponok is KO'd, deploy this to the battlefield in bot mode, even if Scorponok was your last character. Focus one, tough one. And that's for when Scorponok is in his giant robot mode. Bold one, flip one more battle card when attacking. When this attacks, you may play one of your flipped upgrades onto this after the battle. If you don't play an upgrade this way, flip this. And then you flip it back over and use that draw a card so that's really cool and then his uh robot mode gets focus two before flipping battle cards you already you all know what focus two is tough two when you deploy this from under scorponok you may put a zarax shield from scorponok onto this that is pretty cool i want to build a scorponok deck just because well i love the titans almost as much as i love combiners anyway that's it for uh for the uh, Transformers TCG Fan Made Arc Edition. Let me know if you uh, have this at home. Do you like this? Have you played it all? Um, yeah. If, if you like my video, please leave a thumbs up down below. Comment, all that good stuff. Uh, if you're not already, please subscribe. It's completely free for you to do and help me grow my channel, which uh, <clears throat> slowly but surely I'm doing. And uh, yeah, and that's it. Until next time, as usual... Be kind, happy hunting, and goodbye. Don't forget to wash your hands, and when you go out, please wear a mask. Bye.